Good afternoon, Rich Nass with Embedded Computing Design. I am in the Synaptics booth, Hall 4A, booth 259. I'm with Vikram Gupta. He's the Chief Product Officer for the Synaptics. How are you doing, Vikram? Good, nice to see you. So you guys um, are taking an interesting tact on AI. You're taking something that's extremely complex yeah. and you're, you're breaking it down into something that's not so complex. How, how do you do that? So the way we, our philosophy in general has been how do we make AI frictionless, you know, in terms of incorporating it into our products and therefore into our, cons our customers' products. And what we try to do as part of that um, AI journey for our customers is to visualize their experience level. People and our customers are finding it really hard to actually relate to what AI can do for their end products. Mm -hmm. And so in some cases, we are actually offering models to them. In other cases, we know that they're going to come to us with their own data and they need help with the models. In some cases, they've actually invested in a bunch of data scientists and they have their models, all they need is help in getting those models running effect efficiently on our processes. And so we have tried to encapsulate all of that into a AI framework in a way that will simplify that journey and we're going to open source that whole thing so that our customers can actually make their own modifications and adjustments. On top of that, we're going to add a lot of models at, in different applications and verticals so customers can use it as a starting point. And to be clear, we're, this is AI at the edge. Right. Okay, so as you're going through that, I'm thinking one of the ways that your competitors have done that is by acquiring some of these companies that have the different pieces. And you guys have chosen not to do that, to do this more organically. Uh, yes, uh, we are doing it organically in the sense that we have we have actually had a lot of these technologies through acquisitions previously, and these acquisitions were targeted for very vertical markets, and we are using those technologies from those vertical markets to actually apply it in a broader sense to the Astra family that we just rolled out. And as part of the Astra family, we are emphasizing the compute elements that we got through acquisitions, like. Uh, you know, we got we had set-top box acquisitions, so we've got MPUs from there. We've got vision, audio, all these technologies. AI also came in through our our, our vision um, acquisition. So we have had acquisitions previously. We're just we're just taking an effort now to take it and put it into a seamless story. Mm -hmm so that we can enable customers to apply to a wide range of applications. So we are very focused on, on making that happen through the Astra framework. And I, I love that you, you describe this as a framework because that, that's really what it is. So, so it has the, the, the different starting points depending on where you want to end up. That's right, that's right. And, and the key is to remain true to that framework because we actually use it as an internal guard post, as guardrail as well for us to be true to the mission that we have in terms of making it easy for our customers to bring intelligent IoT products to the market. Very good, and these are what you refer to as your pillars here? That's correct. So the five pillars of Astra, and essentially Astra refers to an umbrella that covers processors that we are actually unrolling, right, and we just came out of the Linux processors. They all have AI as part of uh, you know, the story by default. There's wireless connectivity pairings that comes with our extensive wireless portfolio that we have. The software SDK and our adaptation of open frameworks is something that's also part of it. And finally, we know that we're going to reach a wide range of applications, so we need to have a robust partner ecosystem. And that's what we're enabling as well. So these five pillars are basically what keep us on the Astro track. Very good. Come on over to booth 259 in Hall 4A and check it out for yourself.